All right, how to visualize? Let's get straight to it, man. Oh, I'm in a way. Hold on. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. Yep. It's all about perspective. Have you ever felt like you're stuck in a rut, watching days blend into each other, with your dreams seeming just out of reach? It's like no matter what you do, you're running in place, not getting any closer to where you want to be. Frustrating, isn't it? But here's a thought. What if the key to unlocking all those dreams and goals isn't found in the hustle and grind, but within the power of your own mind, or more specifically, the power of visualization? Buddha wisely said, The mind is everything, what you think you become. And this is something that we modern era people didn't understand but has been practiced for thousands of years in the past. Visualization is like discovering a hidden path in a dense forest. William James, a wise old philosopher, once said, The greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. This is where visualization shines. It's a potent tool that can transform the landscape of your life in incredible ways. Think of it as an architect drawing a blueprint before the actual building takes shape. You're the architect here, and your dreams are the structures you're going to build. So how do you change the game of your life? That's what this video is all about. Keep watching until the end, because we are going to explore how the power of visualization can be your secret weapon to breaking free from the rut and stepping into a life where dreams don't just stay dreams. But to get to that point, let's first understand visualization itself. Well, you can imagine right, visualization awesome. like a superpower we all have, Facts. but maybe we've just forgotten how to use it. You know when you daydream, maybe about lounging on a sunny beach or nailing that job interview, that's visualization. But it's more than just daydreaming. It's like creating a movie in your mind, yeah. where you're the director, the scriptwriter, and the star. You're very specific with what you visualize. Like, like if you visualize what type of apartment would you want to live in in the future? Like, it's your dream apartment. Like, you're visualizing yourself in every single room, how the lights look, how bright the lights are, how it smells, how the floor feels. The view, everything, what you hear, when you wake up, you got to visualize to the bone, to the teeth. The more specific it is, the more, the, the realer it's going to feel in your head. And the, the, the better picture that your brain has to see, okay, like this is the goal I have. Now let's get to it and it's going to happen. So Visual think visualization is just uh, like just wishful thinking. Like, okay, I, I, I see it in my head. It's like, okay, that's it. But once you see it, like you like you feel it. Like if you if you've done it, if you if you've gone through it, you feel it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Visualization is about seeing the life you want in your head down to the tiniest detail. It's like picturing yourself holding that diploma, feeling the joy, seeing the proud smiles of your family. Or maybe you're visualizing crossing the finish line of a marathon, feeling that rush of achievement. It's all about creating these clear, vivid pictures in your mind. But it's not just about seeing it, it's about feeling it, believing it. When you visualize, you're not just watching a scene, you're in it. You can feel the sand between your toes, hear the crowd cheering, smell the fresh paint in And when this happens, you've already experienced it. I mean, you've experienced it. You've experienced your dream. Like... When we say, when he, when he talked about the new house, like the new house I talked about as well, he's talking about the fresh paint, everything I said, right? The keys that you get to the new home, everything, moving in. You've already experienced all the joy that comes with living in this dream apartment. So now you just have to wait on reality to match what you've experienced in your head. And it just takes time and you're going to get it. It's very deep. People people think that, oh, you know, I don't really need like a... That's why people do a lot of vision boards. 
that's what I started doing. That's why one of my goals this year was to have a vision board. I slacked on it, if I'm being honest. I did, I did slack on it. But a vision board, you see everything that you want. And then what I would do is um, actually, like, I started doing visualizations this year. And I started, like, five for five minutes after my meditations. I just sit down and whatever whatever I had on my whatever I had um on my computer that I wanted to put on my vision board, I think about it and I would think about how it feels to be in that moment. And that's all I would do. So once you do that, it's gonna take time for it to come into reality. In your new house, your brain starts to think, hey, this feels real, and that's where the magic begins. And this, my friend, can change things for you, big time. For instance, picture yourself healthy and strong. Studies have shown that when people visualize themselves healthy, their bodies start to believe it. Your mind is a powerful ally in healing and staying fit. Or maybe you dreamed of financial freedom. Visualize it. See yourself as a successful person, handling money wisely, living comfortably. It's like setting the GPS for your financial journey. Also, whether you're looking for love or want to strengthen your current relationships, picture happy, loving, fulfilling relationships. But the idea is that the reason why people develop these like small jaws and the, pe the reason why people, their facial structure is changing and their teeth are getting bunched up. His thought and it's... Visualization can help. Got goals? Vis visualize them. Want to write a book, start a business, yeah. or learn a new skill? See yourself doing it, succeeding at it. Visualization can help in all these areas of your life. Yeah, that's the thing. Don't just see yourself doing it. See yourself doing it well. That really helps. I, remember, I read that somewhere. and uh, There was a book I read, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Most. It talked about visualization. It gave one example of how there was some study done on people doing uh, free throws, basketball free throws. And they compared group A who actually practiced shooting and group B who just practiced visualization. And group B did better than group A. I might cap him when I heard that. I was like, hey. So after I heard that, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me try for myself, man. Yeah. Visualization is good. So bro. we've just explored how getting crystal clear about what you want is the first big step. And how can you do it? This is where you need to understand the actual process of visualization. Think of it as crafting your personal masterpiece. It might seem a bit tricky at first, but stick with it and soon you'll be painting your future with ease. Mm -hmm. Now to start, you have to first create your dream blueprint. Or like a vision board or what we call idealization. For it, picture yourself as an architect. Before building anything, you need a blueprint, right? Idealization is just that. It's where you dream big and get specific about what you want. Instead of a broad, I want to be happy, you zoom in. Ask yourself, what exactly does happiness mean to me? Is it having a fulfilling career, a loving family, traveling the world? This step is super. And if you have some uh, unclarifying questions on what makes you happy or what your purpose is, I got a video talking about the hidden Japanese concept, which is the Iggy car. You follow that and it will help you get closer to your happiness. You will understand which makes you happy. So I, 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 I really do advise you to check that video out. Because it's helped me really understand what my purpose is. And it's aligned me to what's important. Super important because it sets the stage. It tells your brain, hey, this is what we're aiming for. It's like programming your internal GPS with the exact coordinates of your destination. Next, we come to clarity and consistency. This duo is the heart and soul of visualization. Clarity means being as detailed as possible. When I say, yeah, and when I keep on talking about detail. When I say you'll be detailed, I'm talking about meticulous to the T. To the T. You want to have one go in your head? Do this, do this after you, do this after this video.
all your notes. Say, okay, this is my plan for visualization. Write the goal that you want. Next, list out every single detail you see in your head of this goal. When you think you can't think of anything, try to think of some more. And then when you go to visualize, think of how you feel in all of these and everything that you listed. Think of yourself in that moment. Imagine painting a picture in your mind. You want to see all the colors, feel the emotions, hear the sounds. The clearer the image, the more real it becomes in your mind. Consistency is like adding fuel to your visualization. You've got this vivid image. Now keep revisiting it. It's like watering a plant or working out at the gym. The more you do it, the stronger and more vivid the image becomes. Make it a daily habit, like brushing your teeth or checking your phone. Over time, this constant mental rehearsal starts to reshape your reality. Next, you will need to put this into practice. Ready for a little exercise? Imagine you're standing on a snow-covered mountainside. Close your eyes for a moment. Right, let's do it, let's See do it. the endless expanse of white snow around you. Feel the crisp, cold air on your skin. Hear the soft crunch of snow under your feet. Smell the fresh pine in the air. Notice the sensation of warmth despite the cold. Wrapped up in your cozy winter gear, this exercise isn't just a fun getaway for your mind. It's training. You're teaching your brain to create and believe in a new reality. Facts. The more vividly you can imagine it, the more real it becomes to you, and the stronger the impact on your mindset and your life. Remember, the process of visualization is like learning a new language. It takes practice, but once you get the hang of it... And then it's like, when you do it, it's like you can feel it. It's like you can see it, and it's like, it's like right there. It's like it's within reach, but too far to grab. And you're like right there. And all of a sudden it becomes real. And it, be, and, and it makes you think, okay, this is possible to do. This is clo I'm close to getting to this than I think. You'll be amazed at the conversations you can have with your future self. One of the great challenges in no this world is knowing enough about a subject to think you're right. Keep at it and soon you'll be living out those dreams you've so vividly painted in your mind. But what happens next? How does this whole visualization thing really change things for you? Let's talk about that. Remember that quote by James Aller? He said, you are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. Mm. This hits the nail on the head when we talk about the impact of visualization. Wait, who said that? This hit you Allah he's things for you let's talk about that remember that quote by James Allah he said you are today where your thoughts have brought you you will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you this hits the nail on the head when we talk about the impact of visualization it's all about transforming your thoughts when you visualize you're not just daydreaming, you're actively sculpting your future. Think about it. If you spend your time imagining success, like happiness, health, and your love, your mind starts to move in that direction. You begin to think differently, see things differently. It's like you're planting seeds in a garden. The more you nurture these thoughts, the more they grow, and eventually they start to blossom into reality. This transformation doesn't happen overnight, but it's a powerful shift. You start to see opportunities where you once saw obstacles. Yeah. Challenges become stepping stones, not roadblocks. It's like wearing a new pair of glasses that makes everything clearer and more achievable. Now let's talk about the real powerhouse behind all this, your subconscious mind. This part of your brain is like the engine room of a ship. It keeps everything running, even though you might not be aware of it. Yeah. Your subconscious mind is incredibly powerful in shaping your reality. It's like a faithful servant. It listens to what you feed it through your thoughts and then works tirelessly to make that your reality. When you visualize, you're giving instructions to your subconscious. 
you're saying, this is what I want to achieve. And here's the amazing part. Your subconscious doesn't really know the difference between reality and imagination. When you visualize something vividly, your subconscious starts to act as if it's real. It begins to align your actions, your habits, and even attract circumstances that help make your visualization come true. And this is where the real change happens. As you continue visualizing, you're programming your subconscious to recognize and seize opportunities that align with your goals. Your subconscious mind starts navigating the best route to get you there, avoiding traffic jams and roadblocks along the way. This is where the true power of visualization lies. It's not just about seeing a pretty picture in your mind. It's about changing your inner programming, the very blueprint of your thoughts and beliefs. As you change these, you begin to change the world around you. Opportunities that were yeah, world once for you. invisible to you start to become visible. People who can help you reach your goals begin to appear in your life. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the universe rearranges itself for to make you. your dreams come true. Yeah. But again, you've got to trust the process. Just like a seed buried in soil, you might not see immediate results. But under the surface, things are happening. Your consistent visualization is nurturing these seeds. And in time, they will break through the soil into the sunlight. Now that we've seen how visualization works its magic, let's talk about how you can apply it in real life. It's like having a Swiss army knife in your mental toolkit, ready to help in various aspects of your life. First up, health. As we talked before, your mind can help heal your body. There's science behind it. For example, Athletes use visualization to enhance their physical training. They picture themselves perfecting their routines, mm -hmm. and this mental practice has been shown to improve their physical performance. Mm -hmm. But it's not just for athletes. Anyone can do it. Moving on to wealth and abundance, visualize yourself achieving your financial goals, whether it's earning a higher salary, saving a substantial amount, or even being debt-free. Imagine the feeling of financial freedom, the things you could do, and the peace of mind you'd have. When you regularly visualize financial success, your mind starts to identify opportunities to make these visions real. And it could create, be no you subconsciously create circumstances that align with that opportunity for you to make that thing happen, make whatever it is you visualize come to light. Noticing a new job opening, coming up with a business idea, or making smarter financial decisions. Your mind's focus becomes your reality's magnet. Lastly, let's talk about achieving personal and professional goals. Visualization is like creating a blueprint for your success. Whether it's acing a job interview, learning a new skill, or even improving relationships, visualizing the outcome sets the foundation. Imagine the situation in detail, the setting, the people involved, the conversations, and most importantly, the successful outcome. Feel the emotions associated with achieving your goal. This mental rehearsal primes you for the real thing, building your confidence and preparing you for success. As we wrap up our journey through the world of visualization, let's remember some key takeaways. Visualization isn't just for a select few. It's a power that each and every one of us possesses. It's like having a secret weapon that we all carry around in our minds. We all hold the power of visualization within you. It's as natural as breathing. You've been using it since you were a child, dreaming, hoping, imagining. The only difference now is that you're going to use it more consciously, more purposefully. It's like realizing you've had a powerful tool in your toolbox all along. It's your inherent ability to shape your future, to influence your reality, and to create a life that aligns with your deepest desires. So what are you waiting for? Start using this amazing tool. Set aside a few minutes each day to visualize your goals. Picture your ideal life in detail. The career you want, the relationships you cherish, the health and vitality you deserve. 
Let these images fill your mind and feel the emotions they bring. And don't just stop at visualization. Combine it with action. Visualization sets the stage, but your actions are what bring it all to life. It's a partnership between your inner visions and your outer efforts. Together, they form an unbeatable team that can take you to heights you've only dreamed of. To sum up the whole discussion, let's reflect on a powerful thought. Norman Vincent Peale once said, change your thoughts and you change your world. Yeah. This simple yet profound statement kept... Hey, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And it's a fact. What you think about the world is going to come to light. Which is the essence of visualization. Your thoughts have the power to reshape your world, to turn the invisible into the visible, and to bring your dreams into reality. Carry this thought with you as you step into the world of visualization. Remember, your mind is a canvas. What you paint on it today will become your reality tomorrow. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Yeah. Feel free to share your thoughts. In that was a good video. That was deep. That, um, yeah, it's about everything I talked about, basically, just visualization. Yeah, I definitely should try it. And I'm thinking about do, I might make a video of me showing how to do visualization step by step. Like how you actually do it. I might do that. Yeah. I might have to do that. We'll see. So, that being said, though, y'all just focus on what you want, how you want to get it, what it looks like, and what it feels like. You're going to get it. So with that being said, peace out.